Hi, welcome to The Virgo Show. I'm Sherry Hansen. I'm with Dale Hendrickson today. Dale, thank you for joining me. You have introduced something to me that I had never heard of, geocaching. And, um, I, you know, here I thought I knew it all, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm here for. That's what you're here for. Tell me what geocaching is. Well, it's a combination of two words, geo meaning the geographic mm -hmm. and caching I want to make sure that it, that could be a misnomer it sounds like they're going out searching for money but I, I thought that at first too <laughs> and it, it's spelled differently but the sound is the same but caching in this means hiding an object hiding an object and what do you need to be a geocacher well our tools are pretty simple. Yes, they are. And so. Number one, you got to <laughs> yes. want to go out. But uh, you get uh, this is one of the required things is a handheld GPS, which, of course, that's a global positioning S system. Right. And believe it or not, uh, something like this, you could guide a aircraft carrier into port with it if you wanted right, to. But all we're it, doing is looking for electronic that's treasure, right? right? We're not looking for a destroyer <laughs> or anything like that. We're just looking for peop things that people have hidden and will give you the coordinates of where you might find it, but they don't tell you what it is. Okay, so you need a GPS and you need internet access. Right. And, and the which you can get yeah. at the library if you don't right, have Right, you can go to the library. And the internet access will give you the coordinate of where that where a geocache is located. Right. But you have to join the Ge Geocaching Society in order to get the coordinates. Okay. And there's if, no fee for that, is there? There's no fee. That's one, one nice thing. thing. <laughs> one plus. <laughs> I like that right off the bat when I was reading about it. And... Uh, so really, that's basically all you have to do. If you want to start in an hour, you can. You could. Right. You log in to the internet and pick out a fancy name that you go by. And, and you officially are a, a geocacher. And so then what you do is you can either hide things, and, and this is one of the examples of right. things that could be hidden, or you could just be a, one of the treasure hunters. Now, how did you get started, Dale? Well, I happened to have picked up a uh, uh, copy of Explore Minnesota mm -hmm. about four or five years ago, and uh, there was an article in there on this new activity in the state that was catching on like a wildfire. So hmm, I read on a little further, and it, I called it geocaching. And then all you need is a computer and a GPS, and you're in business, and the price is free. <laughs> and now they've got my total attention. Right. And uh, ever since that, I, w I went home and logged in, and I've been doing it. It's picked up in the, I know the schools have a class on it, the Boy Scouts have a badge right. that they actually earn, but all ages then is, is um, finding interest in this geocaching. Right, and there's a lot of games within the game. Okay. So, so a, if you um, tell me about um, one of the most interesting stashes of the geocache you've ever hidden. Well, I was new to the how to do things, and we have specific rules, so I was looking for the right place to put it. Well, and like you said, it's usually public property, and you can't bury it. Right. Is that correct? And so you were trying you can't to stay disturb with the anything you don't want to disturb the environment. And, okay. So I was wandering around this little private park, uh, they had a little old outhouse there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I had never seen where anyone had ever hid one in an outhouse, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I decided to put it in, and uh, the, what I, under the description I put in there, Please have a seat and enjoy the view. And that was your clue. 
That was the clue to get there. That was the clue. So okay, so you decide where you're going to put a put a geocache, and you have that. And then so those were the things that we talked about, not on public property unless you ask the people. And then you go online and you put that in through the geocaching.com society, and let them know where you've hidden um, right. a cache. And then before it can get out to the public, it must go through this review board. Okay. And so then if I was going to go and say I wanted to go geocaching, I got my GPS in hand, I've checked out, and I go to the internet, and then I find something, I can type in my zip code, right? And then it's going to give me a radius. Yeah. Now, if you, if but you were they'll to, stop you right there unless you're a member. Right. Okay. <laughs> now, if you're in Ottertail County and you want to do this, how many geocaches would I be able to find in Ottertail County? Uh, if you want to spend all summer doing it, uh, there's pretty close to 300, I'd say, within really? Ottertail County. Wow. I know Maplewood State Park has quite a few. And like you were saying, the city of Vergas has a lot of these little geocaches around, don't they? Right. And the state parks... Uh, have a program going, and uh, they're, of course, they want you to visit all the state parks. Right. And so they give out little cards when you find the, the hide that they uh, put out. And they have uh, GPSs that they will loan you for the day, for the day. to try it out. Oh, okay. So, and so and typically when you find, find and, and not all of them are this, but this is a nice geocache because it's waterproof, right. right? And so you take it, you hide it in a spot, and typically inside of it are a note, um, like you just have a jar here I know, and, and like a note telling people, you know, that's what, what this is in, ca in case you come across it. Because yeah. there are plunderers out there, right, that and just take them. And we say, please and, leave it behind. Yeah, please leave it behind. And then um, also in that is um, you've got trinkets, and that's part of the treasure part, especially for, I would imagine, the uh. kids. If you take something... You're supposed to leave something, and they're usually something pretty low in value, right? Uh, but just right. something fun just to make it part of the treasure hunt. What I think is really neat, too, is what you do is you have a geocat or a cash in trash out bag always in it, and so that you clean right. up any of the garbage, so that's, you're helping the environment. That's uppermost in our And then, of bylaws. course, there's a log book in there, and right. so the log book lets you know that um, if the person that finds it just logs that they've been yeah. there, and then how interesting for you when you go back and check your geocache oh, yeah, because that, to see well, who's been there. Th the fun part is, too, I don't know these people, and they could be my next door neighbor, right? because right. they go by what we call a handle. Sure. And I'm I'm known as the woodworker. Right. And uh, oh, you've just given your handle up, Dale. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, Dale, we've of got about a minute. Of course, it's important. You can't get any money out of that. <laughs> no, we got a minute. We got to wrap it up. Tell me, um, you know, we talked about how this is a family thing, and and all ages can do it. And and what advice would you give to somebody who wants to look into geocaching? Well, I'd go on the internet. Go to the one. internet and uh, geocaching.com okay and uh, you'll get probably on the first load a lot more than you really want to know right but right. it's all in there and uh, a lot of it too is what I what I appreciated you had to say is a, you, you just had a heart attack and you were looking for a way to get outside and just not be combined to the house and get back into the um, it outdoors. forces me to go Yes, it does, and so I think that's a great thing for anybody. So looking for a way to just enjoy the beautiful area that you haven't thought of before, I think geocaching sounds like a really great idea and to me. go green. Go green. All right, thanks for joining us on the Virga Show. Thank you, Dale, and um, maybe you'll be getting some calls. People might want to know. I love it. All right, that sounds I've... good. You have a good day in Virgus.